Today I'm doing a tutorial about doing your makeup really quick so if you've got up late or like me you like to stay in bed longer and you just don't have the time basically so keep watching it's not very good quality because I'm using my phone because I tried to do it on my camera and it's really rubbish so I'm gonna do it with my phone hopefully it's gonna turn out at the end I'll do a before picture without makeup and an after so it gives you a good idea of the look so here we go so first of all day to day I don't bother with foundation I just use CC cream one thing I have to say is when you get to the end of a product and you're gonna throw it away don't throw it away just cut it in half because you will find there's a lot more. I've had this like this for two weeks and it's still going. So when you're using a product, before you throw it away, just cut it in half. You'll probably find there's a lot more left. Now the thing is, this that I bought is, I actually bought the wrong one. It's a lot darker than what I imagined. So, but with anything, whether it's too dark or whether it matches your skin really well, you need to make sure you blend it right down here and down here. Um, if you're wearing something, you don't want to get it on your clothes, tuck a tissue down and then it'll all go on the tissue and not your clothes. So here we go, I'm just going to get it out. And CC cream is really good because it covers up any redness, any dark spots. Uh, it stops you from looking really tired. So I'm just going to put it on. The same you would do with a moisturizer here, everywhere, and like I said, bring it down your neck and make sure it's all blended in. And then afterwards, you're gonna wash, want to wash your hands. So I'll be back in a minute. So the next thing you're gonna need is whatever cover up you use. I use the Maybelline Eye Corrector because. It covers my darkness really well and I wouldn't use anything else so I go all the way here I bring it all the way down to the side of my nose same with the other side Over here, above my eyebrow, and a little bit here. <laughs> okay, the next thing you want to is your powder. Now, <clears throat> if you had a lot of time, ideally what you should use is this. Not like this because then you wipe up everything you've just done. You're supposed to go like this and press the powder into your foundation, your cream, whatever you've used. That way everything sets in. But if you're in a hurry, then you, you're going to use a brush. But again, don't press on. You don't want to wipe off everything. Um, this is just Color Trend powder. Nothing fancy. I just tap my brush in and because you don't want to wipe everything off you just lightly go over it the thing with powder is it just stops you from being really shiny especially if you get your picture taken then if you're not wearing powder your face is going to be super shiny so make sure you wear powder that's done super quick next thing bronzer or blusher, whatever you use. I have bronzer and I've got a little stubbly brush. I dab it in. Now I do it here and I bring it forward. Here and bring it forward. Whatever you prefer, whatever you do. But that's what I do. I think it looks better that way. 
everybody has a preference when it comes to blusher or bronzer. And that's that. And then eyeliner, black on the waterline, it's nearly gone. Like so, and then lastly, lip gloss, whatever colour. This is a pinky colour by Seventeen, <laughs> and that's it. I don't even bother with mascara, anything. If you want, you can put mascara. If I had more time, I would do my eyebrows, but this is just to show you that you can do it quickly if you need to and I'm gonna take a picture on my camera that's better quality so you can really see the difference because this is a little bit rubbish maybe if I turn to the light this phone isn't that good quality either so I'll just take a picture and show you before and after but that's it less than 10 minutes and you're done and next time I shall show you how to do your hair because you don't want to look like this rubbish another quick again if you're in a hurry it's a really cool hairstyle that'll take you like two minutes and it looks like you spent ages on it so I'll do that next time so don't forget to subscribe I hope you liked it don't forget to wait for the before and after picture and I'll see you next time bye